Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we will deep dive in another Avital company. An Avital company that just launched a new aircraft. But before we dive in, I want to thank you all, guys. All of you. Our channel, our community, is growing much faster than I thought. And that's because you engage with the content. You press like, you subscribe, but more important, you comment. You share your thoughts. You say what you like, what you don't like. You share your opinions about the subject and about the stocks and about the companies with deep dive. So today, we go east. Today, we go China. So, we will talk about a new Evitol aircraft from the Chinese company Ehang. Ehang, the Chinese Evitol company, just unveiled a new aircraft, the VT-35. The new VT-35 is a two-seated aircraft without a pilot. This new Evitol is priced under 1 million US dollars. It's much cheaper from Archer or from Joby aircraft. And the Chinese government, they have already placed orders. So the question is, should US Evitol investors be worried? Should you be worried if you hold Archer or Joby? Let's break it down together. If you like our videos and you want to support our channel, you can buy me a coffee, scan the QR code on screen or hit the link in the description to buy me a coffee. So, would you invest in eHug? Let's check the numbers and we start first from the price tag. Okay, this is crazy cheap, under 1 million US dollars. The new VT35 can carry two passengers, it's fully pilotless, has a range of 200 kilometers and the price is just around 900,000 US dollars. Archer, the Midnight, can carry four passengers and an estimated around 5 million US dollars. And we also have Joby, of course, that carry also four passengers like Archer with a greater range than Archer and the price tag is around 1.3 million dollars. Let's check the numbers because numbers don't lie. Let's check first, uh, let's do a comparison. I have built a comparison table to check the basic specifications of the three aircraft we are talking about. The AHAG VT-35, Archer's Midnight and Joby's S4. So as we see Archer's Midnight and Joby's S4, they are both for passenger aircrafts with a pilot. But Ehang, it's totally different. It's a fully autonomous aircraft with no pilot. Let's check also the range of the aircrafts. So we have 200 kilometers 
for the VT35, 160 km for the midnight and 241 km for S4. Joby wins this round. At the cruise speed, also Joby is the winner. Max payload, 200 kilos only for VT35. 450 454 kilos for the midnight and 454 kilos for Joby. And the price for each aircraft, as far as we know, until this moment, 900,000 for the VT35. But here, okay, we have to calculate tariffs, maybe, Archer. At this moment, uh, the price we have it's that uh, each aircraft will cost 5 million and for Joby the price tag will be 1.3 million and let's move on on the second table I have built to check some uh, company valuation and stock comparison table some metrics that it's more economic metrics about the companies and the stocks of each company the market cap for Rehag it's 1.3 billion at this moment Archer's aviation it's 7.24 billion and Joby's aviation it's around 16 billion so great big market caps if you consider that these companies especially Archer Aviation and Joby Aviation don't have profits. They just have designs and they have R&D and uh, they now build their factories for the manufacturing. They still don't have FAA approvals. Maybe at the start of uh, next year, Joby will get first the approval and after we wait for Archer to get the FAA approval and they start uh, commercial plans and they start uh, commercial flights. But he had to uh, already started selling uh, the plane to government local authorities in China. IHAG uh, already applied and they have a certificate application acceptance from uh, the Chinese uh, authorities. And as we know, Archer and uh, Joby they are in uh, the FAA certification uh, progress. Now the target markets, guys. IHAG uh, will have uh, China as the main market and uh, they will speed things up because they have the support of the government government and the local governments also and uh, Southeast uh, Asia may be a big market for them for Archer the United States Europe and the uh, United Arab Emirates and for Joby Aviation the United States Europe UAE and Japan the stock price um, year to date it's a we have a plus 10 uh, for IHAG a plus 15 for uh, Archer and uh, Joby pumping up to 92%. If you find value in this analysis, hit the like button. Is a, a hug a new entry, a possible new entry in your portfolio? For me, hug only validates my belief in the EV tolls, in the flying taxis, in flying cars. I believe in this industry. For Archer and Joby, I don't think that e hug is a problem. It's good that they will push even more the competition. This is a brand new world new markets different markets different needs many use cases and there's still room for different solutions and for multiple winners thanks for watching and subscribe for more See you in the next video guys, peace out.